record on this computer. Okay, we're recording. So, sales over, I missed the boat. Nope, there's still time. And I know how this feels, you guys, because sometimes even when we do like launches and things of that nature, I'm like, oh my God, like the program launched and I didn't spend enough time like getting people behind it and like talking it up and, you know, picking the launch date that we were going to start our group and doing all this stuff. And like, I feel behind, but that shit's made up in my head. <laughs> like the truth is, is that so many people out there don't know anything about it, right? Like your, your people don't know anything about this. They don't know that it's a sale right now in Team Beachbody. They don't know that we offered this group, especially if you weren't promoting it. So you can promote it now. And um, one of the things that will, I'm going to show you a few posts. I'm going to show you some invites, some follow-ups, some samples of all that stuff to get you guys ready to do this. Of course, we'll post this in the team page afterwards. I'll actually take the slides and I'll add them to the file section as well so that you can like, you know, look at the actual content, like take a peek at it and like draw out your, um, you know, your text, your sample text invite and all that stuff. But before we get there, we have a few announcements tonight. So one announcement, it's in a big one. So write it down on your calendar is that tomorrow at 9 PM, we are actually doing a special team call. We typically do not have team calls on Tuesdays. Obviously we're doing a team call right now, but tomorrow we have Aaron Hopkins speaking for us. And Aaron is just like crushing it in this business right now. She's seen such incredible growth. She's really super duper smart in terms of recruiting and getting people building and growing volume and growing income to the point where she was even asked to speak at leadership last October. So not to mention she's super fun. And if any of you have been around for like a little bit, you were in the group with us where she helped a lot of us go diamond in, you know, in our, in our team. So you don't want to miss that. Um, originally she was going to do Cinco de Mayo, but then she was like, I am probably going to be hammered even though I should be on plan. So we're doing it on this date. So put that in your calendar, jump on tomorrow, you guys. Um, also just keep in mind that the sales continuing through the 31st. So just keep going. May 18th is the launch of Mixed Berry Energized. So put that on your calendar, get ready to purchase it yourself. Talk to your challengers about it. Tell them, um, look at the subscriptions that you have through your downline and see if anybody gets energized on a regular basis. Tell them about this. If they like energized, chances are they're interested in this energized. Start posting about it now, right? And if you listen to the National Wake Up Call this morning, she did such a phenomenal job. She was talking about Shakeology and how when she talks about it, when she posts about it, she doesn't talk about the superfoods. She doesn't talk about the ingredients. People don't give a shit, right? They care what it does for you. So when you're talking about Energize, talk about it in a way that's about what you love, why you love it, what you use it for. And then you're going to have people asking you questions. And I'm always one who leans more towards like curiosity marketing. So I don't want to see canisters in your photos. I don't want to see the name of it in your photos. I don't want to see any of that. I want you guys to just have a bell jar or have like a pretty drink with a straw and be drinking it. And then you can talk a little bit about like, and, and even then, like not talking directly about it, but like, thank God for this juice to keep me going today or whatever it is. Right. So like get weird with your posts, get cool with your posts, just be you share authentically what it does for you. Um, reach out to anybody who likes those, right. And, and ask them if they're interested. And then again, you guys, we're going to post this in the sale group too, because we'll just keep the sale group open all month. So if you have people in there, go reach back out to them and say, Hey, I know you were part of the sale and maybe the raffle's over and stuff like that. But if you're still in there on May 18th, keep an eye out. We are dropping a brand new energized flavor and it's going to be phenomenal. And you're going to get your hands on it because it's going to probably sell out because we always sell out of crap the second that we launch it. So they're going to want to get their hands on it ASAP if they want some more energized in their life. All right. Mastering the Vitals group is still going. If you did not check in today, you want to make sure that you go check in. Christina Battaglia was a special guest in there today. She dropped an awesome live video. You want to go check it out, take notes, and then take action on it. She even said DM her. So you guys, you have a superstar diamond that is vested in, in you being successful and giving you tips and giving you advice. Use it. Don't be that shy girl. Be the person who has taken action in their business, did the steps she's talking about, and is moving freaking forward and asking for help and advice from all coaches that are offering it, because that's how you get ahead, using your resources. And then Friday night leaders, there's a happy hour, and then Saturday rise and jazz, which everybody's invited to, but I wanted to put it here because I know there's a lot of new people. All right. And I couldn't let this go by without recognizing. You guys, we are on the 11th of the month, 
and we have 11 people already in Success Club 10 or higher. Most of them are higher. And then we also have Success Club, people in Success Club 5, but if you look at that, most of them are almost in 10. That is insane. And I will tell you that everybody on that list took advantage of the sale group. And that's why we're going to talk about this tonight because it's that important. You get people in there and, you know, Ryan made an excellent point tonight. People love to shop, right? Like everybody keeps talking about how like Facebook ads keep popping up and they can't keep themselves offline like shopping right now because they're bored and like that just makes them feel good. And this is like making it so it's almost not even like you're selling it to somebody. They're able to just go in and shop around and then they tell you, hey, I want this, this and that. It does all the work for you. You just have to do the inviting and get them in there in the first place. And then you'll have results like this. This business is all about taking action. The more action you take, the bigger results that you will get. That goes for your health and fitness. That goes for your nutrition. That goes for reaching out and inviting to your business. That goes for helping your challengers. It all is encompassing and it all works together. All right. So with that said, who do we invite to this? I put a post up in the team page last week. And it's now in a unit in the team page. So if you haven't checked that out, that's where this lives. And it's very detailed on there. Like, I don't just list out the 17 options. I go deep on exactly what that means and where you can find these people. But like, let's just go over this real quick. Because I feel like so many people are like, I don't know anyone. And I'm like, yes, you do. You all know people. Maybe it's that you're scared to reach out to them, but you all know people. Maybe it's that you're making an excuse that somebody wouldn't do it. So you're answering the question before asking it. But if you never ask, the answer is always no. And you will be shocked at how many times that like you go to ask somebody and their answer is yes. And you're like, wait, I can't believe I didn't ask her earlier. She wasn't that scary and I've wanted her on my team, you know? So don't freak yourself out. Just take the action and ask people, you guys. All right. So who to invite? Number one, touch base with those already in it. So if you've already been adding people into the group, you guys, you need to go follow up with them. Or if you've been a coach for a little bit and some of those people in there, you added in there for like the last group that we ran like six months ago, go touch base with them. Hey, you might've seen all this action in there this week. This is what was going on. I'd love to have you in my new group that's starting, right? So that's number one. Number two, sneak peekers. So we ran a sneak peek group two weeks ago. We had all of you guys inviting, inviting, inviting to check out the business opportunity. So if you had people in there and they didn't pull the trigger in that sneak peek group, but you still want to get them into your ecosphere, you want to get them into your community, into these challenge groups so they can experience these products for themselves, so they can experience the community for itself and then really jump on board, get them in here. Hey, I know you didn't jump on board for the sneak peek and, and join us as a coach, but I'd still love to have you in a group. And we actually have this killer sale that just happened. And I'm going to honor the pricing in there for the rest of the month. I would love to get you started in my group. Do you want it? Hot list. So if you guys don't know by now, this is something I have done from the beginning of time is that even though I use Teamsy, which is a CRM system and a lot of people use Asana or spreadsheets or whatever, I have always kept a list for myself on paper. And they're still in my Teamsy. My Teamsy still tells me when to follow up with them. But I do that for a reason. It's my hot list. It's the people that I want to write down on a piece of paper, put that pen to paper, seal it into the universe. These people are getting started with me because I really do think that there's power in the pen. But there's also power in me writing it and solidifying it in my brain and seeing it in front of my face every single day. And those are the people that I want to follow up with the most because they're the people that are the closest to taking action. They're the people that I'm talking to about goals. They're the people that I'm talking to about different pack options or different, um, you know, programs or the people that we are just in the midst of like going back and forth about, you know, with the questions, trying to get them started, or maybe that they have an enroller out to them already and they haven't gotten started yet. Right. So that's my hot list. I'm going to reach out to everybody on that. Then if you guys have, and I'm going to take this off because it's so freaking hot in here. Um, then if you guys have, uh, money objections, right? We're always talking to you guys about following up, following up, following up. And you have so many people that you're like, they're giving you the money objection. Well, what better way to bust past a money objection than to say, Hey, we have an awesome sale going on with $20 off all packs and then some cash incentives back on some of those. Like this is the cheapest way you can get started. Right. And so then you go back and you invite them. The people that you've sent in rollers to that are just sitting there in ghost town that haven't pulled the trigger, go message them. Hey, you haven't taken, you haven't taken the steps yet to fill out the enroller. I haven't seen it in my back office. Like what's really holding you back? What's going on? It, you know? And then if they say money, that's when you're like, cool, I have this sale group. 
or you say, before you roll enroll, let's put you in this group real quick so you can see this discount, or I'm going to give you this discount. Hold on. I'm going to resend this to you. Just get it back in their mind and get that out to them. Um, inactive. So if you have coaches on your team who have gone inactive, meaning they've either postponed a shake or canceled their, um, energize or like whatever that might be, reach out to them. Those are people who purchased something from you before you guys. So there's somebody that's going to purchase something from you again. Maybe you reach out to them and you say, Hey, I know that we haven't got you going on your goals. Like maybe you've fallen off a bit. I noticed that you're not getting your energize or your shakeology anymore. This group I'm in is kicking ass. I'd really love to have you back in this group and really like commit to each other to get through this. We have a killer sale group happening right now. Do you want me to add you in there and you can see if there's anything that you need to get started? I'd actually love to have you in this 10 rounds group with me. See if they're interested in doing that. Your challengers, there's a lot of ends in that challenger. My keyboard was sticking today while I was doing this. So challengers, so people who are already in your challenge groups, right? They can get started by purchasing more for cheap and then get started as a coach or a discount coach and maybe start building this business with you and being part of your team. Launchers and samplers. So we have all of these groups that we've had in the past, right? That are like about the new product launches. Go into them and invite everybody that you had in there. People you sent sample links to. So if you sent 10 round sample to somebody in the past or the morning meltdown 100 sample workout to somebody in the past and they never ended up following through with it, go ask them if they want to be in the sale group. People who have liked or commented on your posts or watched your stories, regardless of what the post or story is about. If somebody likes a post about George or a post about mascara or a post about, you know, I don't know, a rug or a car or whatever, it doesn't matter. I always reach out to them too and start a conversation regardless of whether it had to do with fitness, nutrition, or coaching to start that conversation. And we've given you guys examples of that across the board. There's a post, that, there's a video in the Mastering the Vitals group that we did the other day that was awesome, all about social media and how to respond to people. You guys can go back and watch that. You can go to YouTube. There's tons of resources on our team site about how to invite people, regardless of what kind of post, um, conversations, all of that stuff. Or you can reach out to your coach and say, this is my post and this many people liked it and I'm not sure what to write to them. What do I say? Customer base and customer leads. So again, if you've been a coach for a little bit and you've made success club, chances are that you've gotten customer leads. So now you can go out and you can reach out to them. You can send a quick email actually. Hey, I've got this awesome sale group going on. Do you want it? Um, Follow-ups with everybody that you've ever talked to. Follow-up, 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 follow-up. We'll give you some ideas for that. Um, the alphabet and donut. So what I mean by that is go down your friends list alphabetically or go down your followers list. And when you go to followers, you can type in A. And then it'll give you all of the handles that go. And then you can go B. And you can go all the way down, right? And within that, you can just send an invite, like a generic invite. And yes, it's a little bit more of a cold invite because these aren't people that you're like typically friends with. But if they're following you or they're friends of yours on Facebook or whatever, they've seen your stuff. It is a warm invite. They're already in your bubble, okay? So you want to go reach out to them. It's not weird. Um, something simple as like, Hey sister, my next group starting on this date. Not sure if you saw my post, but you want me to send you some deets to see if you'd be interested. And then they'd go, I don't know. What's your group about? Awesome. That's a question, right? That's your job as a coach to create conversations where they're asking you questions back in return. So you can continue a conversation collections. So if any of you guys watched Micah's national wake up call, or maybe you watched, um, you know, one of her power hours, or maybe you've listened to Gary V or maybe you've heard, um, anybody talking about like the five, three, one method on Instagram, etc. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go Google it. Um, you know, you can go and you can reach out to those people that you've been building relationships with in your collections. And then people, you know, you guys, one of the first things we tell all of you to do when you first get started as a coach is to create a list of 30 people, 30 people that you know, that you can reach out to. I'm talking mom, I'm talking dad, grandparents, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, second cousins, best friends, people that you knew back in elementary school, middle school, um, college, any teams that you're on, any communities that you're part of, like just brainstorm a list and just start reaching out, go through your texts, go through your phone. Who do you have in there as a phone number? Send them a message in the, in the live video that, um, Christina did today. She gave an, an awesome example of how she literally just went through her phone and said, Hey, I'm doing this group and I'm doing this program and I want you to do it with me. And like, I don't know, dude, but it comes with a hundred percent money back guarantee. So if we hate it in 30 days, we can send it back, but I'd love for you to do this with me. Something as simple as that, right? Like don't overcomplicate and just talk to people like you would yourself. 
And then friends of friends on social and followers of friends on social. Go and add more people. Go and start talking to more people. Okay. There's always more people. And then there's people in real life too. I didn't even go there, you guys. There's your teach your kids' teachers, like parents of your children's friends. There's people who are on your kids, you know, um, soccer team or whatever. Like people you have serve you at like a restaurant. Like all of those people are people that you can start conversations with and then invite. And the next thing you guys want to do, and this is all intermingled, right? Like, so you want to put posts up and you want to reach out and then you want to put another post up and then you want to reach out. This is an ongoing cyclical thing. This isn't just like a one and done. You're always posting. You're always reaching out every single day, every single day, every single day. That is how you build your business every single day, especially in the beginning, you guys, you have to build that momentum. The start of your business is always going to be the most difficult time. You got to get that ball rolling. You got to get the ball up the hill. You got to start pushing that boulder up the mountain. What happens when you're still on this edge, right? And you stop pushing, the ball keeps rolling backwards, right? So you got to push and push and push until you get over that pinnacle and then it starts flowing down with you. But you're making it really hard for yourself if you keep stopping on the way up. You've got to take action every single day. All right, so here's some posts. I asked um, some of the leaders on the team to go ahead and um, share like posts that they put up tonight because they're still talking about the sale. We're never going to ask you guys to do something that we wouldn't do ourselves or that we don't think is going to work for us. This is a team. We have to share with you what's going on and what's working for all of us because when we all are doing things, it lifts the entire team. When you're successful, I'm successful. When I'm successful, you're successful. That is how this works. We are not just on a lone island by ourselves. So we're not holding anything back from you. We're telling you guys the information. It's yourself that's keeping you back from taking the actions and doing the things that we're telling you, but they're really super easy things to do. And so tonight, a few of us posted, and you know, this is kind of small right here, but um, Shaylee put, anybody a procrastinator like me? Well, if you are and you wanted to, and you wanted into my sale group, you're in luck. People are still signing up and getting prepped and ready for summer. My four week weightlifting challenge started today, but it's not too late for you to join us. I'm giving a prize away to one dedicated person this week who does the first challenge I've posted. I can't wait to see who wins. If you're ready to join in an awesome once a year sale and join my group, comment with, should give an emoji and we will get you in there with some sweet summer time um, just, just in time. So, and then she put herself with a clock. Then over here, you can see me. I just like talked about what this program's done for me so far and posted a photo of my um, results as of yet. And I just said, I can't believe we're in the final week of this program. It has flown by. I have literally looked forward to every workout. I've loved having the accountability of our group and our live Zooms throughout the week and Saturday mornings. I've loved doing different moves every day, different combinations, and literally punching out the freaking anxiety and crap of this time. So cathartic. I've loved lifting heavy days, pushing myself, knowing that it's rubbing up my metab metabolism and giving me results. I've loved that I'm able to eat carbs five to six days a week, or eight, five times, wait, so eight, five to six times a day. And I feel my body. I don't starve my body. And then I literally just went into, you know, the challenge group is changing my life and changing my, changing me right now. And I'm so excited that we just literally signed 83 more people this week to join us in this challenge. There's still time for you to join that sale group and get started too. I went right into it. You guys can like look at these slides. I'm going to post them in the group. You can go and look at these coaches pages, but you'll see here that like Mariah put one up my face on the daily as I try to navigate quarantine life, homeschooling, figuring out how much toilet paper to buy and how the bleep I'm going to fight the, murder hornets. When, <laughs> when I say my workouts are my sanity, I am shooting straight with you. Um, and so she goes into that, right? So like what I want you guys to know, and I put them in here because I'm going to put the slides in there. You can go read them all. Is that these coaches are leading with themselves. They're not leading with product. They're leading with what's going on in their life. What's going on in like their fitness, their health, their, their family. They're talking about how and why this has affected them in a positive way. And that is what sells it to somebody. And then at the end, they're doing a call to action. You can see how all these calls to, call to action have been tweaked now that the flash sale is like officially over. Um, so like, I love at the end of um, Lauren's post over here, she said, these tools gave me my life back. And if you're needing this, they can for you too. 
our team is extending our weekend flash sales so that we can connect others with these tools at a seriously discounted rate. If you've been the martyr mama and sleepy mama, the dive face first into a cup of coffee mama, I've been there. I feel you. I was you. It's time for a change. The link for the sales in the comments. Get yourself in there so you can start doing just that. You can see that she just tweaked it slightly. We're still just inviting to the sale group. We're all still just inviting. You know, mine said raffle is over, but we're still doing $20 off packs and cash back initiatives to help you get started on your goals and feel good too during this chaotic time. If you want more info, drop an emoji below or DM me and let's chat. And then we come over here and we've got Tiffany and she put up one and she said, uh, she's talking about her program. How has this already been almost six weeks? This week I'll be finishing up the last week of this boxing style workout program I've been following for the last six weeks. Honestly, when I first got started, I wasn't sure if boxing would really be my thing. It was so different from any other program I've completed. Well, six weeks in, and I'm so freaking glad I stepped out of my comfort zone and actually gave it a try. This program now is my absolute favorite. The workouts fly by. It's challenged me daily, and I've learned that boxing really literally works. Literally every muscle in your body. Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely not ready to jump into the rink anytime soon, but I'm super anxious to see all, all the ladies, including myself's results will be coming out of this program. All I know is that my jeans are fitting better and I'm here for it. Our team hosted a huge flash, flash sale over the weekend and we now have 86 new individuals joining us and committing to changing their lives. How awesome is that? P.S. I checked before I got on here. It's now 90. Maybe you have been interested in jumping in with us too. There is still time. While you have missed the chance to be entered into some awesome raffles, there's still time to snag $20 off all packs. Interested in checking it out? The deals DM me. I'd love to send you the link. So again, I'm going to post these in the thing. You guys can go through all of them, but you're just seeing how we're kind of telling our stories and telling what's going on with us and then tweaking the invite to the sale. Okay. Create a CTA in your stories. So CTA is a call to action people for, for those of you who don't know what that means. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean, jump on Instagram and talk to the camera. I know Carrie's scary goals here. Talk to the camera. Talk to them about how we just ran an awesome team sale. Talk to them about the group that we have going on. Talk to them about how you're feeling. Invite them. You know, tell them about what's happening. Tell them about the deals. Share progress photos from people in the group. If you go into the sale group, you'll see under one of like many of the posts, people drop before and afters. Those are things you can share on yours. You can share that. This is, these are the results that are happening in our team, in our groups. Like if you want in, if you want something to make you feel better, like let me know if you went in this group too, right? Throw up a slider or a poll at the end or ask them to DM you or whatever it is and let them know when your next group is started and do that call to action. It's really super simple. Use a mix of pictures, of call to actions, of text, of you talking directly to the camera, Get people engaged with your content, be real, be you, create a story and invite them. And then you guys should be messaging too, right? I told you, you're always reaching out to people, you're always posting, you're always reaching out to people, you're always posting, you're always reaching out to people, you're always posting, and you're always following, 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 following up. All right, so ex in examples for new invites that you guys can do. So, hey, oh my God, I'm, I'm not sure if you saw my post last week, but we had a killer flash sale this past weekend to help ladies get started on their health and fitness goals in my virtual boot camp for a steal. Raffle is closed, but deals and cashback incentives are still going. I'm feeling so good and having so much fun in my boot camp. Any goals? Want to check it out to see if it's for you. Or, sup, babe, how are you? I'm freaking loving this new program. New virtual boot camp starts on the 18th, open for enrollment. Want some deets to see if you would be down for it. When they say yes, you can start talking goals and invite them to the sale. Or, hey, insert name, did you see my post about the sale we have, we have going on? Such a badass time to work on some health and fitness goals and come out of quarantine feeling awesome. We've had some sweet deals to help you get started in a killer group starting on the 18th. Any interest in learning more? Or, hey, I know we've chatted in the past and it wasn't the right time or money was holding you back. I have a killer sale group on an awesome virtual boot camp starting in the 18th. Any interest in learning more, you guys, you can tweak, you can create whatever you want. You can make it as simple as you want. You can make it as whatever, right? You can tweak it to the person that you're talking to based on your last conversation with them. You can make the invite anything that works for you. The point is get out there and invite. All right. Now, what do you do once they've said, yes, they want more details or they want more information or you're going to add them to the group? So what you do is you give them the link and say, here, add yourself here. And then you're going to approve them. And so once you've approved them, just say, hey, I approved you. That way they'll know and they'll go back and they'll like go back into the group because they know they have access. 
you're not going to just stop talking to them just because you added them to the group. You're going to continue to talk to them about their goals, especially if you've never talked to them about their health and fitness goals before, because then you can direct them to the right pack for them. Right. So then when you're talking to them and they're saying they want to tone up and they've got an hour to work out and they really need help with their nutrition and they want more energy and you know, they really like lifting weights, but they'd like to incorporate some cardio or like whatever that is. And you're like, Oh, 80 day obsession is the perfect one for this girl. Right. Then you can be like, I just tagged you in the one that I think is perfect for you, but take a peek at the packs. And then you're going to follow up with them. You guys, you're going to make sure that you follow up with them in 24 hours and you're going to continue to follow up with them after that. I would say 24 hours. And then I would say two days. And then I would say four days. And then I would say five days. And then I would say two weeks. And then I would say three weeks from there. And then if they don't answer you, then they go on a monthly trickle and you follow up until they literally say, no, leave me alone, which doesn't really happen that often. All right. So follow up examples. Cause I know you guys are like, well, how do I follow up? Here's how. Hey lady, did you add yourself to the group? Any questions? I'm leaning towards this program for you. That's pretty simple, right? Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Or sup babe, killer deals in there, right? It, right? What are you leaning towards? Would love to get you squared away in time to start for the start of the group. Or, hey, insert their name. I noticed that you didn't complete your enroller yet. Did you have more questions? Or, hey, I know we've chatted in the past and it wasn't the right time or money was holding you back. They have a kill, killer sale going on and an awesome virtual boot camp. Oh, I don't think I meant to put that one there. Oh, hope you had a great Mother's Day weekend. I know it was, it was a busy one, so we wanted to give you a heads up and I'm, that I'm personally honoring any of those offers you saw in the group till the end of the week. So what type of health and fitness goals do you have at this time? I can help you choose which one is right for you. Or, hey, lady, did you want to get set up with that completion pack today? Either Shakeology or my mommy juice and recover. Great time to take advantage of the sale. Again, you can tweak, reword, do as many different follow-ups as you want. Make it work for you, what fits you, and what fits the person you're talking to. And at the end of the day, other than just taking action, which I think that this is part of taking action, the biggest thing is just to believe that you can do this. The biggest thing is to believe that this doesn't just work for Kaylin or Meg or Tiffany or Becca or Katie or Mariah, that this works for you too. There's nothing special about anybody that's on that board right now other than they're taking more action than you are and they're saying hell no to the blocks that they've put up in their mind and saying screw that, I'm going for my goals. That is the only difference. It is the only difference. And the more action you take, you guys, the more results you get which creates bigger belief, which actually motivates you to take more action. And we've talked about that all the time. And it's 100% you in your mindset. I was, thinking, I was thinking about this the other day. So on Becca's call last week, she was saying that she's worried that when people go back to work that they're going to be distracted and they're not going to do this business or they're not going to like sign up for challenge packs, right? And then later on in that call, I can't even remember who said it, but somebody was like, I'm just worried that uh, reaching out to people right now that they're not going to get started because they're not working right now and they don't have money. And I'm like, you guys are coming at this from two completely different perspectives, but here's the deal. Becca's fucking crushing it right now, like crushing it. There's a lot of people crushing it. Kaylin signed seven people out of that group, you guys. Seven people. That's insane. Sarah Lanford and freaking Lauren were like, their heads were going to blow up and spin off their bodies on Saturday because they're like, I don't even know what to do. Share cart's crashing. My bank's cutting me off. I can't do this. Like, holy shit. Like, they're out of freaking recover. Like, I don't even know what to do, right? And that's not like bad anxiety. That's like fun anxiety. That's like, holy shit, this is blowing up. This is crazy. This is so much fun. And the reason is because they believe that they can and they took the action to get there, right? And so during quarantine, when people don't have money, so why would they say yes to you or buy something from you or start coaching or doing any of those things? They're doing it. It's the same reason that the people who are in top 10 when we don't have a pandemic are successful right? They're not making excuses. It's the same reason why I was able to go six star elite. My very first year of coaching was belief. There wasn't a freaking pandemic that was keeping people home. And that's why they said yes to me, right? You can change it any way you want. Your brain will make up between these, between these two ears, those six inches between your two ears will make up whatever you want it to make up. It will fill in the space of, well, I can't be cut. Or you can flip it and go, I can because I see everybody else freaking doing it and they are not better than me. When you see 166 people go diamond this week, 
do you, you really think they're more special than you? Or I don't even know how many. I think there was a thousand rank advancements last week on the national wake up call. Like, that is freaking insane. That is insane. And right now is such an amazing time to be building your business. Why are you not like running towards it? Getting up that hill, getting to the area where you have momentum and crushing it so that you can move on and be in that really cool space where you get to be more creative and you have more of a team running with you and you're making more money. And like, this is all you're doing because you quit that shitty job that you hate that you don't want to go back to when this is all done. And we as a team, you guys are so lucky to be part of this team. We as a team work together constantly to try to create ideas for you to use so that you can grow, to create trainings so that you can push forward and grow, to give you resources and systems, and to create opportunities and events that you can invite to, whether it be a challenge group or a sneak peek or a sale group or whatever it may be, to help you push your business forward. I didn't have any of that shit when I started. You guys have all this stuff to take advantage of. So use it and stop letting excuses get in the way. Megan, I'm really pumped for Mixberry too. I just saw your comment. <laughs> She's like, I'm pumped for Mixberry. Me too. When you start to doubt yourself, message your coach. I almost missed the flash sale because of self-doubt and Katie lit a fire. Yeah, actually, I can, like, Becca, I think it was, like, you were, like, it was, like, first week of, um, whatever, May, and you were like, I don't know, I don't have anybody yet. And I could tell in the way you said that, that you were like starting to think like, oh, last month was like a fluke. I just did that by like accident. And that's, I mean, guys, see, there's doubt even with like the people who are succeeding. I will tell you on a daily basis, I don't think I've worked enough. I literally walked into the, like the bedroom and I was in there watching um, like something on his phone. And I was like, uh, I just feel like I didn't work at all today. And then I went and I looked and I looked at my to-do list and then I started crossing off all the stuff that I did. And I was like, holy shit, I did a lot today. <laughs> right. <laughs> or like, or like you start going like, Oh, what, like what? I don't know. Like, I don't know how to do this. I forgot how to coach. Like, how did I get all these people to promote back then? And how did I make success club like this consistently? And how did I do all this? And then you're like, wait a second, that was me. Like, obviously, if I figured that out when I had no training from the beginning and I was a new coach, like, I still know how to do that and more. Give yourself credit. How many jobs have you started where you walk in and you're like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And my boss just told me to do something and I have no idea where that is. And uh, I don't even know where the supply closet is. But then you sit there and you remind yourself, I've figured this out before. I'll figure it out again. Everything is figure outable. I will figure it out. I will succeed because I'm going to do it. I'm going to take action. And it may not be perfect at first, but taking action is always going to get you further than sitting there thinking about it. And in fact, when you're sitting there thinking about what you want to be doing with your business or what you should be doing with your business or any of those things or worried about what somebody else is doing or complaining that you're not for, far, like farther along or worried that somebody else is, you literally are wasting so much time and energy that could be spent helping somebody else. When you are feeling helpless, help someone else. And when you do that, it lights you up. It gives you everything you need to go, oh, I can do this. Have you helped one person in the past? Awesome. That means you can help somebody else. That's all you need. So I'm opening it up to questions. Questions, comments, thoughts, go for it. Okay, well, who now believes that they can do this and that they're going to go invite to this group like a mad person and crush this month? Because I'm not done. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, so when you have, let's say, like multiple people that like may be saying like what you're doing, because like cost, like they what would you say to people um, that doubt it? Like what you're doing and how you're feeling and like the changes. Um, I don't think, okay, so here's the thing. Um, get the book, Super Attractor by Gabby Bernstein because she talks about this in it. 
but she talks about can you, can you say that again it's called super attractor and it's by gabby bernstein and she talks about this she talks about not sharing stuff um with uh typically people who are closest to you when you are not 100% certain in it yourself yet because that doubt seeps through and then they start doubting you, right? right? So the best thing that you can do is just keep showing up. Just keep showing up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep showing the results. Keep talking about it on your social about how this is changing you from the inside out, how you love the community, how you love how the workouts make you feel, how you love about, you know, how Shakeology makes you feel. Like, again, with the curiosity marketing and not just coming right out with that stuff, but like, talk about that. Let that ooze off you to the point where like people can't help but notice the shift in your energy and people can't help but notice the change in your physique and your mental clarity and your mental stamina and your mindset and all of that stuff. Because when that happens, then all of a sudden people don't give a crap actually what you're doing. They want what you have. So that starts number one with you and what you're doing internally. And if you're showing up for yourself and actually being proof the product works, that's number one. And then number two is sharing it constantly on your social. And then I would say, screw the haters, prove them wrong. Go start reaching out to other people. And this is something that you guys, newer coaches need to know. Your people that are the closest to you are not going to be the people who sign up with you first. Yeah. They're not. They're just not. They're not going to be your supporters first. I remember sitting there and being told that um, I would never be supported because they thought that what I was doing was wrong and that I should kiss up to my boss because I might need my job back one day when I quit my job by a family member. So obviously it's a different tune six years later where I still have never had to go back to another job. But like that's the type of stuff that happens with those that are close to you. And the best thing that you can do is prove them wrong. Because the second you start letting that stuff seep into your brain and so you get worried about it and then you stop asking people and you stop inviting and you stop sharing because you're so worried about what that hater or judger is going to think, you are allowing them to write your future. You are allowing them to put that doubt in your mind and then therefore cut you off from everything that you want and prove themselves right. So would you say like you limited your time with them kind of until you became more confident in it you can simply so here's the thing if it's a tight tight family member you can simply say to them like i'm just not ready to talk about it yet you can just say that i'm just not ready to talk about that subject yet and move on okay but if it's other people who are caught like they're constantly bringing it up and they're not respecting that boundary and and they're judging and whatnot then yeah limit your time with them like you do not have to show up for a toxic person, whether it be your, your mom, your dad, your sister, I don't care who they are. They don't get to do that. It's your life. Right. And also if you start, and then if you start taking action in this, you guys, and you start seeing those results, I am telling you, you will get obsessed. There's this weird thing that happens where like, you can't even freaking help yourself. It's like all you want to be doing. And it's because all of a sudden you have that hope and that glimmer and you can see what's going to happen down the line if you keep going. So you just have to get to that point and not let anybody else throw you off from your game. Keep those blinders on. Yeah. Thank you. Um, can you just tell me again what you said um, number two and three was? Because you said number one was showing up for yourself. And then I didn't get to write down two and three. I don't remember, <laughs> but you can rewatch this. <laughs> that was just off the top of my head. So. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Kaylin, my husband told me that there was a noticeable shift in my mindset. Yes, they will notice and support you. Yes. Um, I agree. Like prime example is, you know, Meg, when she saw me at that, that event, it had nothing to, like, yes, I had lost weight, but it had nothing to do with that. She, you know, she was like, I just seemed happier. And I was like bouncing off the freaking walls because I was happy and had energy. Like my whole brain shifted. So people notice that and they want part of that. Who doesn't want to feel like that? I mean, if you talk to the majority of the world right now, they're all depressed, negative, watching the news constantly, or watching whatever crap TV, living through other people's lives, talking about other people, bitching about shit, you know? Like, when you, when you become a community of people who are, like, literally, like, 
I want to help you better your life and get to the next level. And I'm going to help you do that because I'm going to do it for myself too. And we're going to support each other through this. That's a completely different mindset than anybody else has. Yeah, it is. Anyone else? The other thing I think we're going to do, you guys, is I think we're going to do a push group. Um, and we'll, we're, we're trying to figure out what the parameters of that are. But I think there'll be a buy in and there'll be like a tank or t shirt or something you can win too. But like if you actually achieve your goal, you'll get to split the pot. And if you don't, like your money goes to somebody else. So it's going to give you a little <laughs> to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's something we haven't done in like a really, really long time, but I think it would be fun. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm very competitive. So I might just throw another account in there and be like, I'm going to make this account diamond. <laughs> hmm. Anyone else? All right, guys, go use your coach, use your tools, use your resources and go crush it. Go take some action and let's like, there's a hundred and I think, I think I looked at it. There's already 161 lives changed this month. If you look at the recognition board, that's bananas, bananas. So, I mean, I would love for us to help like over 300 people this month. That would be so freaking cool considering we're not even halfway through the month like I would love to look back and laugh that I just said 300 like I would love for it to be like some ridiculous number that we're like holy crap what just happened because we can and it's fun to do that all right guys get going love you <laughs>